This show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Stop putting your online data at risk. Get protected at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. Uh, I've got Justin in my garage. How you doing? Is that a euphemism? Doing good and looking good. Um, I bought a limousine, but I don't know where my limousine is. I see my van and I see my banshee. Oh wait, maybe I don't have room for it. Someone will blow it up. So let's roll like the Griswolds in this bad boy. Oh yeah, I'm in a beaver wagon. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> it is, and it's my ride of choice. Guys, I'm at the arcade. Oh, you're at the arcade. All right, I'm gonna pull out outside. Pull up outside. Are we chilling or are we gaming? We're about to do some mad gaming. Elise, what meat blocks do you eat in Canada? Canadian bacon. It's the round bacon. What else is good? Why deviled? are they called deviled? Egg? Yeah, what is deviling? There's a lot of people outside of my garage. No, you can't get in. No, 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 you can't get in. No, you can't get in. Lindsay, let people in. Let me in. Let me in, What the car? heck? Can you not get in? You might ruin our vibe. That is 100% true, but no, it won't let me in. Oh, what? Are there too many people? Is there only two people? Maybe. Oh, well, let's see if I can find my limo. Something's going on with my computer, man. I'm only getting 25 frames right now. It's more than you deserve. Hey! This is not my limousine, but, um, yeah. You guys want to do some wild, wild races and stuff? Oh, Leah, I'm so stunts? excited! Justin, what's your experience with GTA? Well, the only GTA I've ever owned is Grand Theft Auto 2, um, which is the top down one. I uh, used to dress up like the main character every time a new GTA came out and go to my friend's mm -hmm. house as the character in full cosplay and play the game for like a day straight and then mm -hmm. and then uh, that's it. So I've played every GTA for at least a day. It's like that movie with uh, Anne Hathaway, One Day. Lindsay and John know what I'm talking about. It's, Who? Yeah. It's called One Day with my, uh, Anne Hathaway where she, her and her boyfriend only see each other one day, like, or not boyfriend, but you know, will they, won't they. They only see each other one day every year. Is it in, is it part of it set in like Europe? She's in yes, Europe? Yes, it's not good. Yep, okay, I've seen it, yeah. I don't like rom-coms where the main characters don't interact with each other. They do, one day every year. Sleepless in Seattle? Fuck that movie. Are you more of a you oh, got yeah. mail? I'm more of a we've got mail. This is a we've got mail lobby. So if you ain't with it, you better hit it. When did this game come out? Because I played it the first day it came out. It was 2007. Justin, did you get the invite? Which, how do I? Up on the yeah. D-pad. Is it a text hit message? hit the middle thing, like the middle square. Oh, jobs. And then you should see a weird, like, acne-ridden cowboy. That's, uh, or I guess cowgirl. That's Lindsay. I think I have accepted. This game came out in 2007. <laughs> It's Turbid. Turbid's the one joining. Turbid sent me this map, so. Turbid and I have a uh, jovial Willy, won't rivalry. They? Yeah, Willie, uh -oh. won't they? We only see each other once a year <laughs> at RTX. <laughs> Who's eating? I'm crunching ice. You're crunching ice? Is that your lunch? Well, this morning I had the leftover of my sandwich that I had yesterday at 11. So I guess that was technically lunch. Y'all want to know what I made for lunch? Leftover meatloaf sandwich. You didn't really make it. Yeah, you just slapped the meatloaf between some, what, some Wonder Bread? I put it together. I'm gonna guess John's mom made the meatloaf. And I bet John wasn't even present when she did. Should we get his mom and, and talk to his mom about the sandwich and the meatloaf then? She's busy. She hasn't signed an appearance mm. release. <laughs> <laughs> She's napping. Yeah, Lindsay and I are uh, having a pizza party tonight. <laughs> we're having a pizza party. Really? Yeah, I'm ordering pineapple on pizza. John, you're eating meatloaf again. I'm so tired of meatloaf. I have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner like the past four days. It's the only thing my mom flipping knows how to cook. Maybe if she'd get up, but stop fucking sleeping at 4 p.m. I think we need to talk to John's mom about how she only knows how to cook meatloaf. Could you get her real quick? I haven't taken a shit in a week. Oh, she's busy. That's right. You said she's busy. She's in a meeting and she's taking a nap. She's in a meeting and she's taking a nap. I want to just <laughs> nap in all my meetings. But, well, guys, it's a meeting. It's an M-E-A-T-I-N-G because she's making more meatloaf. So this is a lovely alpine course. I think there's snow because it's, you know, it's cold. Hey! Immediately. I'm immediately sabotaged. Hey. Saboteurs! I know how good I'm going to be. Oh, guys, I'm go. on the outside. I just pulled an Italian job. Is meatloaf an Wait. American meal? It's from Mexico. It's maybe the most exotic meal. 
My grandpa used to make a ham loaf. It's a little bit different. You have to be into that. A lot of people were not like, I don't like a ham loaf. A lot of people don't like meatloaf. <laughs> he'd loaf. bring it to every party and no one would eat it. <laughs> More ham loaf for me, he'd say. <laughs> it's a big glob of meat. Mix it up with some egg and some breadcrumbs and some and ketchup, ketchup or barbecue sauce if you're feeling wild. And then you glaze it with a little bit of an egg wash. Stick that sucker in the oven. Uh, I think you're having a stroke. Ah! What's happening, John? What's happening? Sorry, I keep trying to sabotage people and then I crash. Oh, I just got sabotaged. It wasn't me. Elise, what meat blocks do you eat in Canada? Canadian bacon. It's the round bacon. My thing is deviled eggs. Oh. Like to spice it up. And Justin knows Anytime I go to Justin's house, I always bring deviled eggs, and I don't know if people like them or not, or if they're just being nice. No, you bring the party with those eggs. Those eggs got destroyed last time. You brought like four stacks. Bring the, the farty party, though. Yeah, you need them fast, or else they'll stink up the party. You have a Tupperware that's specifically designed to hold like it 40 is. deviled eggs. You want to eat an egg. They're, aren't they just egg and mayo? I make them with vegan mayo. Oh! Yeah, and then mustard. A little white wine vinaigrette. It's not healthy to eat 16 of them, which is what I normally do. <laughs> we got 18 eggs in the fridge right now. Maybe I'll have some deviled eggs with my pizza. Oh my God, Fish Pit finished first. I'm gonna win so much money. I put a thousand dollars on Fish Pit. Guys, the roads are too icy. I got second place right by my boy Fish Pit. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> I saw someone there driving over a mountain. Who was, oh, it was that? Elise. It was Elise. Who could that have been? <laughs> It's got too much torque, guys. Yeah, I hear that. Look at me, I won 2,200. What else is good deviled? Why are they called deviled? <laughs> yeah, what is deviling? Cutting it in half, mashing up the insides, and then putting it back in? So that, that's like a twice-baked potato. Is that a deviled potato? Here we potato? go. Deviled taters. It's so sinfully delicious. That's why I giggle every time I eat a deviled egg, because I know I'm being naughty. I just want to say there's more bacteria in your kitchen sink than in your toilet. With the information I told you, would you consider replacing, putting a toilet in the place where your kitchen sink is. Well, that's that's why I always wash my vegetables with my bidet. If it's good enough for my butt, it's good enough for my veggie. I moved into this house. It's got goddamn ants everywhere. There's just piles of meatloaf around every turn. This episode of GTA 5 is brought to you by Logitech G and the G923 True Force Sim Racing Wheel for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. If you've never raced with a wheel before, it doesn't matter. Now is the time to start. This is an incredible wheel. I've been doing all these reads while actually trying to play a racing game and I feel scared sometimes because when you go off the road, you feel like you've gone off the road. It's all thanks to the Logitech G design, which is re-engineered to dial you into the game physics, delivering unprecedented realism. You can feel the engine, you can feel the gravel, you can feel when you skid out and you lose control and how hard it is to get it back. It has a programmable dual clutch to get off the starting line faster with maximum traction and minimum smoke in sported games. You have complete control over the wheel using the G-Hub gaming software. You can change the force feedback level and the sensitivity and all the button customization. You also have more control over the race and with a 24 point selector. There is an RPM LED on the front so you can see exactly whether or not you're shifting at the right time or shifting at the bad time. I wish I could show you the pedals but you don't want to see my feet. Progressive brake spring help you maintain control of your vehicle at high speeds and I'm going very, very fast. It's compatible with most racing games on PlayStation, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PC with select titles specifically designed for true form which is the ultimate one-to-one -one force feedback experience. And best of all, for a limited time, Logitech G is offering our listeners express shipping at logitechg.com. If you use the code FUNHOUSEGTAV, free ship 1223 for express shipping today. Hurry now, since the promo code expires in three days and I might lose this. Nope, I'm past him. Here we go, oh round God, two. I'm gonna win. Going, we're in the mountains again. Coming for you, Elise. What? <laughs> Boom! Oh, I missed. You missed. Your meatloaf missed. <laughs> you could make like a vegan, a vegan beet loaf with some beets. John, do you leave? Uh, do you leave reviews for your mom's cooking? Uh, whenever she prepares a meal, before I sit down, I take a little bite and I taste it. And go. And I turn around and I'll go, better luck next time. And then I'll walk <laughs> out and I won't have dinner with my family. Aww. I literally missed the first checkpoint because I tried to run into Elise. 
Justin, how many deviled eggs can you eat in one sitting? Uh, probably like 60. Wow. 60? Which is only 30 eggs. Where'd you put all those eggs? You're like That's cool hand Luke. Anybody? Anybody? I don't even have that many eggs left in my body. <laughs> <laughs> we are drying up. <laughs> <laughs> we are drying up. Do you ever have those moments where you think, I'm giving the best years of my life to GTA? My oh. best years are long gone. My soul is the cleanest. This is like the third time I've played GTA. Lindsay, you're getting pizza for dinner, is that correct? That's right, pineapple on pizza. That's an abomination, but okay. Elise, I never thought that we would be enemies. <laughs> she said, I look at you and all I see is an abomination of pineapple and pizza. <laughs> all I see is a giant talking pineapple. I used to have oh, a yeah. cheeseburger pizza and I dump oh. mustard on okay. it. Oh no. Mustard? Okay, now that's nasty. Lindsay, I thought you Please. love mustard. You can't, you can't get me going, John. Don't get me going on the mustard. I helped Lindsay move. I even thought ahead, and I made sandwiches. And she went, oh, how nice of you. I'm not going to eat that. There was a dab of mustard on it. It was mustard. There was mustard on it. I love mustard. Mustard is the spice of creams. <laughs> did James move your fridge? Yes, he did. All by himself? He tried to, and he said, I'm too weak, John. Help me. <laughs> That's right. He said, I'm too weak. And the fridge has a, a little ding in it, and uh, I'll never be able to sell it. So it was too fat for the door. That's nobody's Wait, fault. Wait, did James ding it? With his really strong knuckles, he might have just dinged it. I don't know. I just, I didn't have anything to do with the ding. It was all James. Can I say, I know for a fact that James has alone moved a refrigerator before. So I have to wonder if it was the, the companion, the helper, that caused the ding to happen. Mm. I, I heard so. I heard that James was really mad he couldn't lift it, so then he, he struck the, the fridge. <laughs> he yeah. punched the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've seen James try to pick something up, get mad, and then punch it. Yeah, like me. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. I was I was right at the finish line before I got the DNF. Where'd you guys finish? What position? Reverse. I didn't. I rarely do.